Hey people, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Soka. Welcome. So guys, remember how um I showed you guys my I, I showed you guys catering my very first wedding. Well, I'm about to cater wedding number three. I'm super grateful, excited, happy. So I thought that you know what I'm going to show you guys the entire process. The very first video wasn't like very in-depth, so I'm going to show you guys what it takes to cater a wedding in Lagos, Nigeria. So um obviously it's going to be abacha. Um we're going to do chicken unkwabi and we're going to do ukwa for the wedding. Um um what else oh the wedding is actually on the 18th of june that's on saturday and today is the 9th of june today is thursday so first of all i have a vendors meeting with the the event planner and all the vendors are meeting up to discuss okay what do we need and you just basically plan out just basically plan out how we are going to execute everything that day so i will take you guys with me i'm currently here the meeting is by two the time is 1 40. um i'm actually in my car i'm still in my car because i'm waiting for a dispatch rider to come pick up um an order i had i'm with one of my others i'm using my front camera sorry i'm in one of my others it's a butter. i'm in one of my others um i'll show you guys what what it is i i will insert a video after this what exactly this is it's basically about but i'll still insert a video after this so you guys can see so yeah just waiting and then i'll go inside so first of all vendors meeting so come with me guys come with me i'm so happy i'm so blessed like three weddings already Smooth by Soka is going to by Soka native is going places, guys. Okay, what's this guy now? Thankfully, the driver is here. Five. This is stressful. This is stressful that I don't want. Hey, last one. Thank you. Okay. I'm here for the vendors meeting. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Um, she moved by Sukati Abacha and Kobi. Are you the bride? Yeah, wow. right. Congratulations. Thank you. Wish you success, mm -hmm. a fruitful, and peaceful wedding. Thank you. I truly like the arrangement. I don't really like. I don't like like rowdy and like big things like overwhelming things. <laughs> All right. I'm happy that you like the arrangement. Uh, like I said, it's a successful event already. I've gotten there. Okay, so the vendors' meeting is over now. Time for me to head home. 
that's all I'm doing for today um, in regards to the wedding. Yeah, I will start the proper like prepping and getting things I don't have from next week, from Tuesday probably, because we've not been having light, so I don't want to buy things now and like keep them in my fridge and they'll end up like spoiling. So from Tuesday, I'll start buying things. Um, the meeting was basically um, the event planner just telling us how we're going to set up, at what time we needed to be there. And then the hall that we're, we're doing it as at Rose Tree. Um, we are doing it at Rose Tree Event Center. So the the building management were also telling us that oh, we needed to pay a 10K refundable fee. So if we paid the 10K on the day of the event and that's each vendor pays 10K. And then at the end of the day, you come and collect it back as long as you did not damage or spoil anything. So yeah, it was just, it was a very um, short, easy meeting. The bride was actually there and she was super pretty, super nice. She seems like a really nice person. I liked her. Um, what else? What else? That was basically it. I'm going to be setting up in the evening. It's going to be an evening till night party. So wedding to me calling this party. So yeah, I will be setting up. I should be setting up by 3 p.m. So I have to make a mental note, make sure that I leave my house by 12. So even if there's traffic, I will get there. Even if there's traffic, I will get there by like 2. And because my setup time is 3, 3 p.m. So yeah, that was it. There wasn't much to the meeting. Other vendors were there. Um, that was it. So I'm leaving now. I'm leaving now, so I'm going to go home and yeah. Sidebar, I know my eye is red, but I don't know why. I woke up like this and it doesn't hurt or anything. I didn't know it was red until I looked in the mirror. I don't know why. Hopefully it clears off by the end of today. I don't want to have to go to the hospital. I hate going to the hospital. But yeah. I'm fine, doesn't hurt, nothing, nothing, it's just red. I don't know why, I woke up like this. Oh well. Wow. It's Nigeria that is suffering me. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, so I'm on the way to the market. I forgot to film before leaving the house. I hope you guys can hear me. I'm on my way to buy dry fish that I need for the wedding and garden egg. Don't worry, I'm not inside. <laughs> and garden egg. And my auntie is taking me. Um, I did take my mic on my tripod stand because I don't want my phone to get stolen, but I will try to vlog as much as I can. <laughs>
or Jota now. I got home, dropped everything I got, then picked my car. I went to get soap and um, dish soap for washing dishes and um, what they call that thing, spirit. I use spirit for my shopping dish. You know the flame, the as my fuel for my shopping dish. So, and I got face mask. Um, disposable nylon hand gloves so i've gotten all that i'm about to go home but i stopped to buy corn let me show you mm, so i stopped to get corn because i have not eaten anything today so yeah rain has decided that to be my enemy hey guys good morning so today is the next day today is actually friday the 17th of june should be um okay so i was so exhausted when i came back yesterday so i didn't um, get to show you guys what i got but i am um, i'm about to start prepping everything so i'll show you everything that i got in the market um, um okay so i want to show you guys what i got at the market i went to uh Oyimbo. i went to Oyimbo, so i mainly went there to get fish but i did get um other things so let me show you guys this is what i got at Oyimbo. the fish that i got this is also fish. So I'm serving um, 30 guests ukwa. So I got um, 35 pieces of fish because I, I had to add five extra. You know, in case anything breaks or so yeah. Um I got it was six on somewhere six hundred, somewhere five hundred naira each. And this one was Dara, so See how beautiful it is. Yeah. I also got um garden eggs. I think I couldn't find the local ones. I'm sure I could have found it in like Mal 12, but the ones that I wanted was so small and so going all the way to Mal 12 to um I mean to be Mal 12. To get garden eggs didn't make any sense. And then I got pepper. These are red pepper at a road home, five five hundred. Oh no! Ooh. And it's so good. And I got yellow pepper too, five hundred. Okay, so for the rest of the stuff that I need, this is Titus fish. And I'm going to be using. I ordered the Titus fish and the chicken from um, Ij wait, is it Jara? Yes, Ijara. So I have my mom gave me a number of a woman she orders from, so it was delivered to our house, so I didn't have to go to Ijara. And this is the Ukwa. I already uh, measured out the Ukwa, so this is all the Ukwa I'm going to be using. I'm cooking for just 30, I'm making Ukwa for just 30 people, so this is the quantity i'm going to be cooking so yeah i got this liquid soap from ojota it's heavy i got this soap from ojota it was one five and then i got spirits this is what i'm going to hey you is dirty this is my my liquid flame that the liquid what well, that's in at the point inside the shopping this shed in Kong Kong to like to do fire this is spirit I got it three five, see? Mm. So yeah. So it's time to start proper prepping. Um hold on, where's my book? Let me tell you guys what I'm supposed to do. Okay, so I obviously have to make a to-do list so that I don't forget to do anything and I do everything in time. So my to-do list is in order of importance, I guess that's the English or the way I'm supposed to do it. So the first item on the list was to wash wash my tablecloth and apron because I have I, I I need to the aprons are clean so I'm not sure about my tablecloth so I need to check make sure it's washed but it's already raining so I left that um then I have to blend crayfish pepper and ebu that I'm going to use to make the abacha and the um kobe for tomorrow so I have to blend everything today um dry blending um What's the next thing? Number four. Oh, then I have to wash all the plates. The plates for Abacha, Ukwa, Ukwabi, 
wash all the shopping dishes, wash the coolers, wash trays, forks. What else? Um, what's next? Then, okay, wash the titles fish and cut spice, put it back into the freezer. I'll fry it tomorrow. Cut chicken, wash, put it back into the freezer. I'll cook it tomorrow. Then later in the evening, I'll boil the ukwa. Because ukwa takes so much time. I don't want to fight with ukwa tomorrow. So we will reboil the ukwa. Then when it's almost done, we turn it off, then finish up tomorrow. Then what else? Then before we go to bed, we, we, we will boil the apaka. So apaka doesn't take time, but I feel like it's just less work to do tomorrow. Then what else? Oh, I'm still um we still need to go collect the utazi because that's the one thing I haven't got in utazi leave because it kind of wilt. So I wanted it fresh. So um the I have a woman who helps me get it, so she'll buy it and then Beatrice will help me collect it later on when it stops raining. So yeah, that's all I have to do for today, actually. It seems like it's not a lot, though, but it's a lot of work. Then, tomorrow, tomorrow morning, when we wake up, we have to fry the fish. We have to cook the ukwa. Um, we have to wash the abata. I will not mix it here. I will wash it, then make the mixture. Then carry it there. Then when it's almost time to start serving people, I'll not mix the abata. Mix the ukwa. I don't know if I've said that. Wash the garden egg and the ukazi and cut it up make the mkwabi, mix the apaka, um, what else? And then pack up everything into the car and go. I should be there by 12. No, I should be ready to leave by 12. We're meant to start setting up by 3. But you know it's Lagos and traffic, so I'm giving myself 2 hours, so I should, even if there's traffic, I should be getting there by 2, just to be safe. So yeah, I think that's all that I need to do today. So yeah, I'm about to get started. <sighs> Bitch is about to start cutting chicken. Abby, is it chicken or fish you want to cut? Chicken, okay. So yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I just brought out everything that I need to get washed for tomorrow. So these are the plates for the Nkwabi. So there are 30 of them here. No, she's the, no 25. There's 25 of them here. That's how many I need for the wedding. And then the coolers I'm going to use and carry them to the venue in. Then the shopping dishes that I will be serving from. And then my plates. This is for ukwa, this is for abacha, and this I will be placing the unkwabi on because usually unkwabi kind of like spills to the side. And then trays for my servers. I'm going to have just two servers, so I brought three trays. I'm not serving a lot of people. My abacha, I'm serving 45 people. Ukwa, I'm serving 30 people. Unkwabi, I'm serving 25 people. So, this is everything. So, what else is left? Okay, so I'm currently washing the ukwa. And my tripod is not bending. Okay. So, I'm currently washing the ukwa. I have currently washed it. Um, this should be the sixth time I'm washing it. Um, you need patience. You need stamina and patience in order to wash this thing. This is like the sixth time I'm washing it. Like, thankfully, the water is clear now. I still have to wash it like two more times before I boil it because when I first started washing it, you could not even see the water. The water was completely brown. But thankfully, now it's getting the water is getting clearer. So, yeah. My hands are already cleaning me. Look at my fingers. My fingers are finished soaking water. Ah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And 
I need to keep doing this until I'm done. Oh, well, not until, not until everything is shut up. Hey, one more. Good morning, guys. Today is Saturday, the 18th of June. As you can see, I'm very tired. Can you see my eyebrows? Can you see the backload? Ah, I'm not a morning person. I don't like waking up in the morning. We were able to finish every single thing we were doing by 11. So we went to bed around 6.30 in the morning. And we're up. Okay, so for today, what we have to do today, we have to fry the Titus fish and then mix it with pepper sauce. Uh, we have to cook the dry fish, we have to spice the dry fish and cook it. I have to wash the abacha. I have to mix the mixture for the abacha. I have to mix the I already um, pre boiled the ukwa yesterday night until it was like very soft. So now I'm just going to mix it. Um, okay, I have to wash the tati and the egg and cut that. I have to boil the chicken and make boil the chicken for the bobby and mix it. Um, I have to boil the abaca and mix it. Mm, what else? Well, I wrote this thing on my list like lemon pepper. That's pepper for the ukwa. I think that's it. That's what I have to do today. And I have to get everything done by 11.30 liters because we have to leave here by 12. So let's get started. Beatrice is about to start frying the type of fish. Let me show you what. Okay, so this is four. So I'm going to mix it in a few. Don't you be afraid Just follow me You don't need no space Just follow me Like a mirror you reflect me Like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed and free I just don't want this moment to end you gotta go Baby, why you gotta go? Like the way where you affect me I just don't want this I just don't want this moment to end Like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed and free I just don't want this moment to end But now you say you gotta go Baby, why you gotta go? Like the way where you affect me I just don't want this I just don't want this moment to So here I'm just trying to fit everything into my car um, since I was catering for a small number of people, I did not bother renting a bus to carry everything. Um, I, I was just able to fit everything into my car. So bear that in mind, if you are catering an event, you might have to rent a bus. But luckily, I did not need to rent one. Like a mirror, you reflect me. I just don't with this. 
I just don't want this moment to end. So I'm currently at the wedding. I did stop for the wedding because I was running late. And this place is like a madhouse right now. So okay, so this is what this place currently looks like. It looks like madness. <laughs> it just is still cutting with daddy. <laughs> Okay, so today is the very next day um, unfortunately um, I had to stop filming because my battery died but it's just is that even if my battery didn't die I still would not have been able to film because once it got like dark like from 7 we stopped being able to see because the venue did not have outside lights and so there was absolutely no light where we were set up so we had to like keep using our phones to touch lights which was very annoying um they did apologize for that but like 
it made things a lot harder because we were not seen. Like everybody had to turn on their phone search. But I guess that's the thing about events. You can never really plan for everything. I mean, even though they should have known to put lights outside. But anyways, um, so much happened. First of all, okay, let me explain. First of all, we got there at exactly three. I ended up not have. I ended up not leaving my house by twelve. I ended up leaving by after one, and there was little traffic, so we ended up getting there by three. Now I'm technically not late because that's my setup time. But when we got there, as like as I, I had not even gotten there, as I was driving into the venue, they started calling me on the phone. So are you, are you there yet? Are you there? I was like, yes. They're like, I need to serve immediately and start serving. I'm like, eh? Like I don't understand because first of all, my serving time was meant to be by five, and remember, I had not made, I had not mixed the abacha, so I carried the washed abacha and the abacha mixture. I had not mixed the abacha. They were like, you need to enter, set up, and start serving immediately. I was like, wait, what happened? The um. So apparently they planned for 600 guests. But it's in Nigeria already, I can never be 600 guests. Um, it was 1,000 people that showed up, at least 1,000 people that showed up. Um, and then the caterers that, um, the main caterers, because um, how they divided it, they were like caterers for the main event and caterers for the after party. I fell into the after party category so i am for and obviously what i made was not a lot it was just few abacha a little like 45 um <clears throat> plates of abacha 30 plates of ukwa 25 plates of ukwa so it was small small something i was meant for like vvip special people i'm not meant for everybody but then the main caterers one they do not have enough service to be serving people they do not have enough people to be dishing food so and then the amount of people were now instead of 600 guests they were now over a thousand guests so first of all a lot of people had not yet eaten they were not they were there were not enough hands to serve them so they were like i need to start serving immediately like every, all the planning that we planned everything went to dust like so immediately i entered like first of all when i even entered self because remember i said we had to pay a 10k caution fee before we set up so first of all i didn't pay that 10k caution key because when i entered the event planner was on panic mode because obviously things were not going the way it was supposed to be and then the hall management were nowhere to be found so i stood there for like for like 30 minutes for like 30 minutes after i got there just waiting for them to give me a table and tell me where i meant to set up that didn't happen at the point we had to look for tables by ourselves we found tables lying around the place and had to tell other event uh, events other vendors to scoot over for us we took our table and then we set up and started dishing immediately like i didn't even like get a second like we had not mixed the abacha we had not caused the utazi and the garden because obviously we didn't want the utazi to start wilting so like it was everything was upside down like we just had to like start moving they kept on coming to check oh is the, have you finished mixing it i'm like almost done, almost done, almost done and then i was not meant to serve everybody and guess why didn't guess do the most annoying thing so there's this thing like you know we were serving at the back of the of the hall guests kept on coming to the back like you're meant to be sitting down servers are meant to come into the hall and serve you but no, trust Nigerians, they will never respect themselves. People kept on coming to the back, especially people who felt that, oh, now we, we, part of the family, now we get the wedding. Then people like, I, like, sit down, let people serve you. No. They came, they now crowded the main people, the main caterers. Obviously, I'm not meant to serve everybody. So when anybody comes, my, maybe they come to me, I'm like, I'm not meant to serve. I'll just direct it towards the main caterers. They now crowded that side do you know how many fights happened there because they will come obviously they already want the caterers don't give people that are standing their food give only your servers and they will go inside so obviously now they will be ignoring all the people that are coming to the back and be giving only this, their servers food then the people that obviously before me where we will not get angry who do you think you are gonna, gonna, gonna. we're standing here not giving us food it is up <laughs> like 
the amount of fights that happen, even Mopo at a point, one of the people, because obviously they are big, big men for this wedding. So, one of, I don't know who it was that came, the event caterer, the, I think the head of the, um, of the main event, the, <coughs> my brain is jumbling. Um, the main catering company, their yeah, madam, I don't know what she said to somebody, the person got angry and just, ah, Igbo people, Igbo men that like showing Nawibi. I will scatter every day here. Gonna, da, 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 da. Next thing, his mopo came. Somebody else started um, talking back at him. His mopo came, started beating the person. Hey, my guy. Like me, I was just there because I was right next to them. I was like, nah, this people should not start fighting and push down my own foot because, ha, guy. Oh, and then, um, because obviously now I told you that we're not meant to be serving people, so they will come tell us who to go and give um, food to, and we'll go serve them. So at the point, because people kept on coming, and I got tired of answering people like I'm not serving. Do not tell me, oh, okay, they will come and say, um, give me a batch. I'll be like, sorry, we cannot serve you. They'll be like, why are you saying it? But you know, we're not saying that. Um, either the event planner or the person that paid me to come and do this job has to come tell me who to give food to before we give them food that was the instruction and i followed it to the team like i don't want to hear story so they will come they will not be like um and I, when they come i'll tell them either call the event planner or call the person that paid me to come and tell me to give you food or i will not be able to they will not come eh it is all she's my sister she's my brother it is our wedding again 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 what is for Sammy? i'll just stand there and be looking at you i'll tell you so i will just keep on telling you sorry so at the point i got tired of answering people and my friend chidima was there god bless chidima chidima is my ride or die um ride or ride not ride or die nobody's dying um chidima was there with me and me i don't like confrontation i don't like stroke i don't like telling people no so my instinct is whenever they come, I'll act like to the is the madam. And me, I'm just there, okay, ah, you know, good friend. I'm just there helping, I'm just there helping her. So when she, my sister just entered, um, I'm just, I'll just act like um, to the is the madam and I'm just there helping. So um this older man just walked in he, he, an older man and a young lady walked to where we were and they were like who's in charge here and obviously i'm the one in charge so chilima points at me but in my head i'm like oh i don't want to answer anybody now i pointed at her so at the same time we pointed at each other and we looked at each other and the man said you know what she you see everything he now pointed to the beginning of the hall and to the end like you see from here to here i'm the one that paid for every single thing here now what what do you have here me and look at i said about your uncle I just, I just told him what we have he was like good she's bringing container you put in all the containers every single thing for her I said yes and he walked away that's when we realized that he was the groom's father we we're like yeah oh people man people like to do scenario that was so funny like Anyway, you had to have been there to see. Like, it was so funny. Like, we were both like, maybe he did the from here to here. I am the one that paid for every single thing you see here. Not to my like, um, but the wedding was good. The wedding was good. We served um people. Um, there were there were a lot of big big men there, like I said, and the place was so crowded. Like, I tried to get videos, but it was very difficult because the place was crowded and obviously now we're the ones serving the vip so i'm trying to get videos of my waiter serving um, the crowd there one step on me like trying to follow my step it was very difficult so my videos are a bit shaky because i was struggling i was the amount of people that oh nigerians the way they gathered their table where all the big men were staying the way people gathered their table and they were just standing around like who are you standing around their table for go to your own chair now Mba. Like, I didn't understand it. But anyways, it was a good um, event. I We ended up leaving there by 11 p.m. I got home by 12 a.m.
no we didn't leave by 11 p.m we left after 11 because i got i remember I, I remember getting home 12 a.m on dots um it was a lot though it was a, and i was exhausted my feet was aching me another thing is now when you're charging them aside from the cost of the food in your service charge make sure you include the fee for your plates and your forks or, or any cutlery that you're using because my guy you're not going to go home with it complete i did not leave it up to my service to look for it and i went around personally to pick up to pick up plates and forks i went um to the event with a hundred forks i didn't go home with up to 60. my plates only like maybe like two or three were missing from from so i think one was missing from the ukwa plate two was missing from a butter plate my ukwabi plate was complete thank god um for my forks <laughs> uh, i'm not even sure it was up to 60 was it up to 60 we found and i went around personally so it's not as if oh i left it up to my waiters and they didn't really i went around multiple times guy make sure you include it's in the service charge because you will it will get missing there's not and there's nothing you can do about it then you have to buy new ones so the next time i have to cater an event i have to buy more forks and there's nothing you can do about it. so make sure you always add that but catering an event is a lot of work oh. it really is a lot of work there are a lot of things that you have to um bear in mind and things don't always go the way you planned it the way we hope we planned oh i will start i will set up at three start serving at five but yeah i ended up having to serve immediately i got there but though, anyway the wedding went really i would say the wedding was a success it went really well despite all the little hiccups everyone got food because obviously they were there were a lot of um caterers there everybody just came together and made sure that everyone got food um what else oh yeah i had one i i had two servers one of my i had i used this um serving company i'll find the name and write their name down below in case anybody wants to ever use them amazing amazing serving company um but unfortunately i had two servers um one was my regular the regular server they always send and but they sent a new person this time around brother kept on disappearing like i don't understand it he kept on disappearing like i would think oh maybe he's inside serving for yeah for like 30 minutes you will not see him one hour he will disappear you will tell him okay go and serve he will go inside disappear after an hour he will come back again i don't know what he was doing i complained to the serving company and they apologized and promised and i told them i didn't want um them to send him again the truth is that if if this was the first time i was using that company i would think oh that they don't know how to be if not i've used them um like three times now i would have thought oh these are days to be these are other people will be spoiling someone's business the guy was just behaving anyhow beatrice uh, when, when when the event was over and we were packing up beatrice asked him to help her fold the tablecloth properly because the tablecloth is very big and very long she nearly helped to fold it he was just doing anything she was trying to tell him oh no do it this way he now like tossed it at her like oh um all this nonsense you are doing is for what just do it anyhow and walk away like he's lucky i was not there because ah that's how someone would be spoiling someone else's business like if i had not used them a couple of times times i know that okay that these people are very good this would have been the last time i would have used them because this guy frustrated my life he frustrated my life because ah, the way he kept on it was almost as if i had one server the way he kept on disappearing i don't even understand it um what else have i not told you guys i think that's how everything went yeah okay so i guess i'm going to be ending this little vlog here if you got to the end let me know if you are in the catering business and you just watched this video and you have any tips and tricks for me please let me know in the comment section if you're just starting out newly and you need like help with where to get things and suggestions i'll be more than happy to help you out with the little knowledge that i now have um 
I'm more than willing to share if you have any questions to ask me. Um, what else? And if you if you're just uh, one of my lovely subscribers and just enjoyed watching my video, also let me know. If you have anybody that is getting married or naming ceremony or by day party, any event, um, um, work work party, whatever it is that you need a caterer for, please you guys come to me, come to me. Shmood by Soka Native, we will take care of you and we are very affordable. We take pride in what we do and we do it well. Um, so yeah, please guys, tell everybody about Shmood by Soka Native. Your number one man yeah, but in Lagos State. Why is me? Nice. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And please do not forget to give me a thumbs up because this helps YouTube know that this video is worthy of watching and it will um, suggest it to more people. And if you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Help your game. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, and share my videos to anyone you know that might need a general like idea on how to get an event. This might help them. I mean, I'm not a pro pro, but we're getting there. As in, number when wedding number three is not a joke zombie, you know, it's really not. <laughs> okay, I'm grumbling. Um, I will see you guys at the same time in 10 days. Bye. Thank you for watching. Mwah.